we're going to take a look at another property of parallelograms. And what this one says is that if a quadrilateral, quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the diagonals bisect each other. All right, uh, so what I should do before I get too far into this is actually talk about what it means to be a diagonal. So let me draw, here's my parallelogram I'm gonna reference, A, B, C, and D. And so what a diagonal is of any polygon is just a segment that connects non-consecutive vertices. So in this case, A to C, that segment, or D to B. Uh, the reason I say non-consecutive is that if I have a segment that connects, for example, A to B, well, that's just a side, so that's not a diagonal. So what I'm trying to show is that my diagonals here will end up bisecting each other. So I'm going to draw them in. I'm going to label that point there where they intersect uh, as M because it'll end up being the uh, midpoint. Um, and so what I'm trying to prove, well, actually, my given first is just that A, B, C, D, is a parallelogram. And then what I'm trying to prove is that and I'm just going to do this for one of the pairs or one of the diagonals because I could just as easily as replicate this for the other one as well. I'm just going to prove that AC will bisect bisects uh, AC bisects DB. So really what my goal is here is to prove that BD is divided into two congruent segments. That's my goal. And the way that I'm going to do that is the way that I've proven pretty much all these properties, and that is by looking at the triangles that exist. Uh, these triangles are a little bit different than the ones I've had previously. Uh, normally I was dividing my parallelogram kind of into two parts, but now I have it divided into four parts here. And I'm going to try and prove two congruent triangles uh, from these four. And so the triangles I'm going to look at uh, that I think I have enough information to prove are this top one, A, M, B, and this bottom one, C, M, D. So that's my goal. Um, but let me go ahead and start with my given. That's A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Parallelogram. Given. Um, all right. Let's see. So I want to prove that these triangles are congruent somehow. I'm trying to think of what information I have. Uh, and I have to keep in mind that what I can do is I can use my other properties as well. So what I'm going to use here is uh, I think I can talk about parallel segments um, and then use some of the angles that I'm given because of that. And I can also talk about the fact that my opposite sides are congruent. That's one of my properties of parallelograms I've already proven. So let me go ahead and actually start with that. So let me start with the fact that A, B, and C, D are congruent to each other. A, B is congruent to C, D. We'll set this up and just kind of leave it alone for a little bit. But A, B is congruent to C, D. And that is from, well, the statement that if a quadrilateral, quadrilateral is a parallelogram, Then uh, the opposite, the opposite sides are congruent. Perfect, and that comes from one. Um, so I know that. Then let me mark that real quick. Uh, these are congruent to each other, and then let's also talk about the fact that these are parallel. Now, this is not a theorem. This will be actually for my definition. Now, I will say that AB is parallel to CD, and that is my definition of a parallelogram. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if and only if the opposite sides are parallel. 
and that also comes from one. Okay, uh, so now I've got that. And the reason I did that was so that I can start talking about some of these angles that are in here. So for example, and let me mark these as parallel. For example, I can talk about angle BAC and angle DCM being congruent to each other because they're alternate interior angles. So I'm actually gonna do that exact same thing twice to prove those and then also this pair as well. So let me go ahead and knock that out. So angle BAM, so this is number four that we're on. Angle BAM is congruent to angle uh, DCM. There we go. And the reason for that is that if two lines are parallel, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. Interior angles are congruent. All right, and that comes from, where did I say? The parallel up here in three. And then I'm gonna repeat the exact same thing for angle, what did I just do, BAM and DCM? So now I can say for ABM, angle ABM is congruent to angle CDM, CDM. Okay, and I'll use the exact same reason. If two lines are parallel. And so once I've done this, I will have enough to prove my triangles congruent. And the reason, and I guess maybe I've never actually said what the reason was, but the reason for that is so that I can talk about these parts of my segments being congruent to each other, which is then just my definition of what an angle, or sorry, a segment bisector is. So uh, let us do that then. Let's prove the triangles congruent. So triangle AMB, AMB is congruent to triangle CMD. And the reason for that will be, uh, well, this is angle side angle. If the corresponding angle side angle of two triangles are congruent, then the triangles are congruent. And that comes from, let's see, two, four, and five. So now I've gotten through all that. I proved these triangles can to each other so that I can talk about, uh, I wanna say that AC bisects BD. So BD is the one that's being divided into congruent parts. So it'll be the case that MD, MD is congruent to, MD is congruent to MB. And the reason for that will just be my definition of congruent triangles. So two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding parts are congruent. And that comes from six. And so now to wrap this all up, Let's actually say, use my uh, my bisector statement here, that number eight, AC bisects segment BD. And I'll use my definition of what a bisector is. A segment bisects a segment if and only if it divides that segment into two congruent segments. And that comes from seven. All right, uh, so again, to just break down what we did here was I was trying to prove that quadrilateral is a parallelogram, 
or if it's a, quad, a quadrilateral the parallelogram, then the diagonals will bisect each other. I chose to just show that for one of the diagonals because I could easily repeat this whole proof. Actually, I wouldn't have to repeat the whole proof. I just have to use the other uh, parts of these congruent triangles. But regardless, um, I would just have to repeat some things to do the exact same thing for the other diagonal. So I just chose to do one uh, to show that AC bisects BD. Um, and just like most of these problems, whenever I'm uh, working with parallelograms, I broke it up into these two triangles here. Um, not just split into half, but these two of these like four triangles that I created. And then I proved them congruent to each other, just using the fact that, uh, well, my definition, which is that the opposite sides are parallel. But then I also used one of my other theorems, one of my other properties about parallelograms here uh, to prove this. And so uh, when I did that, I was able to say that the, uh, the opposite sides are congruent and thus making these two triangles congruent to each other by angle side angle. I then use my uh, corresponding parts to say that DM and MB are congruent, which means that that segment is bisected by AC. So this is another one of my properties of parallelograms here, one of the many uh, that I can use going forward.